Hey guys, it's Jason at JP3 Motorsports coming at you with another tutorial. This time we're going to be talking about FC RX-7 uh, AC evaporators. Uh, through our extensive research and development and uh, making these AC kits, we found out that there were two different uh, variants that Mazda had with the FC RX-7s. Um, and so you'll need to know which, which evaporator and expansion valve you have uh, before you order our kit because our kits will come with the appropriate um, exp expansion valve for the style that you have. Um, so there's going to be a couple of ways you can figure out what you have uh, before ordering. Uh, one of the easiest ways is if you, if you are able to take the evaporator box out, the easiest way to identify them is this. We're going to have two different styles. It's going to be called uh, factory installed, which is this unit and post factory installed. Um, so we'll just dive into it. The, the factory installed units, you'll, when, once you pull it out, you'll see the evaporator right in the open, or the expansion valve right in the opening. That's the big telltale uh, sign for which one you have. So if you see the uh, expansion valve right in the opening, you have a factory installed AC um, style uh, evaporator box and expansion valve. Um, and I'll show you the difference with the post factory installed. So this was uh, installed somewhere after the factory, either um, at the dealer or uh, at the port or whatnot. So when, once you look in the opening, you'll have to look on the inside and you'll see the expansion valve tucked in there. Uh, so this is post factory installed. If you don't have the, uh, the EVAP box pulled out and you just wanna know before you order and take everything apart, one way you can look is at the um, high pressure um, fitting ports. Um, so on the factory installed, you're gonna see that the, um, the high pressure port or fitting is gonna be right at 14 millimeters. It's hard to see, but you're gonna be at 14 millimeters here. And on the post factory installed units, you're gonna be at 16 millimeters. So if you don't have a micrometer, you can always just throw a wrench on the on the fitting and see um, what wrench fits. If you if you get a 14 millimeter on it, then you're at a, a factory installed uh, EVAP box. If you're at 16 millimeter, you're at um, the post factory installed. I don't want to use the um, low pressure size because this is like 22.3. And this one's at like 21.7, so it's a little too close to tell, but you can, it's it's very easy to tell once you're on the, um, you're on the uh, the high pressure line. So um, that's the two main differences, that's to figure out which um, EVAP and expansion valve style you have, um, and to figure out before you order. Once you have that um, figured out, you can see the videos. I, I have a video of how to take the evaporator box out um, and how to change the uh, expansion valve on the post factory unit. At the time, we didn't know that there was another variant, so we uh, we treated it as if there was only one style. So that video has the post factory uh, style expansion valve and how to replace it. Um, but what I'll do in this video is just show you the, the small little difference. There's a little extra fitting that comes with the expansion valve um, for the factory installed units. Um, and that's the only main difference. Um, otherwise, um, the removal and the reinstallation and everything else is still the same. So I'll show you that. I'll open the box and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so once you uh, take all the clips off, all around the box, you take a, a couple of screws out, you take that screw out there. There's another one on here and one right here. Take all the screws out uh, and you loosen up the two screws here, you can move the sensor out of the box or on the side, and then you can open up the box. Just be careful. Sometimes there's the uh, the styrofoam or foam still stuck to the uh, the, the evaporator. All right, so you can take this out, take the box out, and then now you have full access to the expansion valve. So we're gonna loosen up these, uh, these two nuts here, and then I'll show you what the uh, the reinstall looks like with the new one that we provide. Okay, so we got the uh, the old expansion valve 
taken off, um, you're gonna use a 17 and a 14 on here, and then a 17 and a 22 on here to uh, loosen up the nuts. Just be very careful, there's always a lot of corrosion. These cars are 30 plus years old, so um, you can spray a little WD or penetrating oil just to get them all loose and take that all out. So once you take that all out, you can move this out of the way. You're gonna open up the, uh, the insulation and uh, you can take out the sensing bulb here and take it all the way out. Um, just a note is that um, on, on the video that I have for um, removing the evaporator box out and replacing the expansion valve, which we now know is, is for the post factory um, uh, style, um, I didn't I didn't show that we're including the uh, the sensing bulb clip. So if your clip uh, is rusted or whatnot, this one seems to be stainless and still in good shape. But the uh, the post factory one uh, was rusty. We were able to source these uh, new um, sensing bulb clips, and we uh, provide them in the kit, so they they come included if you do need them. Um, these are really nice uh, stainless steel units. So that's just another note. Um, so now once you get uh, ready to reinstall the um, the new um, factory installed style expansion valve, you'll see here it has the same style um, sensing bulb with the coil. Um, but the only difference is now it's going to come with some extra fittings. So because um, this uh, does not thread on, um, it comes with an adapter. So you're gonna have the little O-ring here. You're gonna put a lot of nylog, lube it up. It's gonna go here, just like that. Seat it right in the middle. And then you're gonna see here, it has the same um, style bevel uh, fitting on the inside. And you're gonna tighten this down. So once that's tightened down, lubed up and tightened down, ready to go, we provide two additional O-rings. You're gonna put an O-ring here and a larger O-ring there. And you're going to reinstall just like the uh, post factory installed. So this one still has the O-ring here. But uh, I'll leave it on for demonstration purposes. This is going to thread on right here. This is going to thread on here. You're going to make sure you put your O-ring with nylog on. This is going to thread on there. Nice and tight. You're gonna position everything nice and tight. You're gonna position this back on, and reinstallation is um, is the same. You're gonna position everything. You're gonna clean this uh, the core up as much as you as you want. Um, to take this, take all this old gunk and stuff. You can use a coil cleaner, um, and reinstallation goes uh, back the same way. Um, you're gonna put everything back into the box, tighten up the box, and throw this the back into the, the car the same way. So there's no other, I, I don't want to spend any more time on the video trying to show you everything that I showed you on the other video, but um, that's the only difference with that little adapter fitting just for the um, for the, uh, the, the pipe that uh, exits out the firewall. Otherwise, everything else is the same. Everything else is ready to go. Um, if you like our uh, our content, please like, subscribe, and follow, and I'll see you guys on the next one.